welcome everyone back to Stalker Kala Pripyat. So we left off, I actually had to go in a bit of a hurry because, you know, reasons and everything else, so... Oh yeah, I'm on the second floor, alright, I need to have to have the commandant. Alrighty. Ah, award with them. Award, talk to Kowalski. Mija, we've got a serious problem. This operation has been getting more ridiculous every minute since the helicopters crashed. Really? The men are dropping like flies. We've got no comms with HQ and the situation just keeps getting worse. The evacuation choppers didn't show up again. And at this rate it won't be long before we lose control of the situation completely. We need to establish communications with HQ right now. Alright. Our communications expert believes that the signal is being jammed from somewhere close to us. He's working on getting the coordinates as we speak. I sent some of my men to check out a possible source of the interference, but they went missing and their personal signals aren't registering. So Major, I one of your objectives is to establish communications with HQ. Given the situation we find ourselves in, this should be your priority from now on. Also, is a personal favor to me? Please find my boys. Alrighty. Alright, alright, alright. I mean, he doesn't really want to instill panic on everyone, doesn't he? That's alright, I understand. Just to be honest with you, I mean... The monoliths as well too, they seem to be quite a bit of a, uh, a force to be reckoned with. And then there are the zombies and everything else, and anomalies, mutants and everything else. But the biggest, the biggest threat so far is monoliths so far. You know, holding the, uh, the zone as their little religious sanctuary. So on and forth. We'll see to, uh, to that in a bit. I'm not gonna go there again. Obvious reason why everyone here, the squad over here is all dead. But the other guy, though, too, the other friend, is not showing up, which is also unnerving at best. As any interference fronts, I to find my sources. We destroyed, we made to communicate with Q. Alright. Repair to my views, my beautiful armor, my dagger. <laughs> my shotgun. I do actually need more ammo for the shotgun now, do I? Yes, I do. And instead of that, it'll too. I actually did find my... <coughs> Sorry. I actually did manage to find my hands on... Get my hands on some more... Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. I got left the gun with the, uh... With the, the gun. With the, uh, the guy at, uh... Even the medic's gone, too. Alright. Need ammo. Uh, shotgun ammo. Anything else? MG ammo. Bye. That I do like that I do love my uh, MGs, I sure do. But I have to save you no know, ammo up and everything else. I mean I got four MGs over here. I mean truth be told, I mean I actually was thinking about like selling them and everything else. We need another repair over here are free and everything. I can't get rid of these ones, but <sighs> son of a bit Oh okay, good. Well might not just take it with me, I mean you never know when I ever might need these. Uh... There you go, leave at leave at least two with me. This ammo is pretty. At least uh, leave half with me, you know, just for good measures. Fifteen. Bandages will never, will be, will never ever going to be running out of, right? Alrighty. My uh, personal guy, where you go? There he is. Wait, I had a rather unpleasant experience I want to share. Some mercs asked me to lead them to Pripyat. Initially, they won me over and with a juicy fee, but I soon realized I wouldn't brown the brown stuff. They 
did let me out on the other side for a second and threaten me gunpoint. I managed to escape when we approached Pripyat, but they're bound in the city, so be careful. Did you hear what the mercs was attacking about any chance? Some of it, yeah. Intention of life, no intention of letting live. So, alright. Meeting gonna happen? Nearby, in the apartment comp in the yard in the apartment complex. Should I take the MD? No, I shouldn't. I should probably take out the point on this bad boy and I'm going down the wrong way, that's for sure. Yeah, I mean, well, if I was that guy, we'd be hiding that uh, much more. Off your place. <coughs> and a little Kistramgeber as well, too. Because why not? Aha! He says it was gonna happen in the yard, the apartment complex, now wouldn't it? <laughs> Since I really wouldn't trust it, it will see you. I would just give my thumb. Well. What's gonna happen in nearby? Something? Hmm, you know what? I think I might as well just uh, loot these places while I'm at it. If something happens, then, well, then we're sure to know. Right. Yeah, I mean, she's gonna be just taking you know, like a loot into a, an entire building by building. You know, just for just for the sake of being organized. And I just really want to get carried away. And if I swear, if you find myself some more monoliths, it will too. To Christ I swear. Oh, to Christ I swear, alright. Speaking of which, oh, there's nothing here, what a waste of time and space and money and everything else. Uh, I don't know, I'm not gonna go with this one. Sure, I may not have any, any grenade launcher on this thing, but the accuracy and the night vision compensates for that, I'd say. The stress result, too. Sometimes, uh, G36 might be one of your best friends ever, right? Log. <coughs> here, need grenades. Nothing was saved over here. Amazing, isn't it? The lobby of the apartment complex. Ah, great. Now my memory has fucked up again. Shit. Night vision on daylight, I know, but who cares? <coughs> Ah, never mind, it's a zombie. And here I thought it was about to get out of had a firefight in my hands. Hmm, so what if you know the mercenary got wiped out by zombies? I mean, somebody have a light machine gun, which could be a bigger threat than everything, but... At the same time, no, they're zombies. They're easy to kill, and they funny thing about Pripyat is that it kind of reminds me about... It actually used to remind me about Resident Evil. Think about it for a bit. Like the City of Ruin. City of Ruin. That's actually quite a fitting name, isn't it? City of Ruin. I like that. Quite, quite, a bit, quite a bit fitting with this place here too, isn't it? Because of course, well too, you know, the uh, Pripyat was devastated by a little incident on the, uh, in the nuclear power plant, right? And then everything, you know, was like so polluted with the radiation, forcing everybody to leave. You uh, can some of the radiation reaching, uh, reaching places such as the United States and everything else, right? Yeah, a lot of places actually. You hear that? Company. Hmm. 
that was all about. I hear footsteps and it's this. Oh, come on. I wasn't telling you that. Alright. Let them show themselves. I'll give them a taste, a taste of my dick. <laughs> nah, I'm uh, on my track. I'm my, well, my terminate, actually. Actually, it's the eliminator. Fuck them. Get peppered. Sure, of course, you know, having a, a huge automatic shotgun is, a, is all fun in the game and everything, but the A as well would make, would make much more for it. I didn't know I'd ever been on the same magazine fed rather than shell for shell. Dougie? Oh, look at that. A bloodsucker and a doggy are playing around. Come over here. Retarded. Get <clears throat> Which was willing to change the ammo? I mean, just in case we use slugs. Hmm. I don't know about shooting slugs, but hey. And I don't know. He says about the mercenaries, I mean, that we're going to come for him as well, too, that... And we're going to meet up here at the apartment complex, right? Uh. Fair enough. Also, just to be sure, now, something over here? Weapon, change ammo type is Y. Alright. But I can't. Oh well. But what if they're, they, are, they're, they already are here? The mercenaries? And we haven't realized that about now. Shit that zombie up. Maybe they mean that the mercenary might come by night time? No, I don't know. Again, you know. Ooh. <coughs> All right, change my mind. Guess I might have to keep an keep a spare one. No way inside, but there's just some zombies hanging around over here. Well, were zombies. and everything, but... Uh, I was just a big dumb dumb, you know? Hmm. Just for good measures. There you go. I'll fly through that bitch. I better jump crouch. <laughs> Let me 
ocean log. Let's take our lair. Oasis. <sighs> ah, of course. Tell him about the uh, the gauss weapon as well too. The only one survivable too. <coughs> no modifications, only repairs actually. Oh well. He's better than nothing is. Of course it is. It didn't be damageable too, which is something. Shotty gun, because why not? <coughs> and then the spare SGI 5K, because why not, right? All we do now is sit in the ass in the middle of a freaking zone. Will they come for us? Okay, that's enough whining for me. Let's concern ourselves with things gonna affect us now. Things to do with handy cover, and getting safe with those accelerated bullets. And, <coughs> alright, something now now does. I'll contact anything new. I need information. Gary, Gary told me an incident with the mercenaries. Yeah, he told me about it too. So the guys came, we came here in fear of being pursued. Fortunately for him, those of them, the mercs didn't track him. We were watching the place where the mercs and the clients people are supposed to meet. It's all quiet. I'd love to know what the mercs are after here. A secret laboratory in Pripyat. Pripyat? From a mercenary notebook, Zaytan Zatan. It's confirmed a story to me by a stuck named Uncle Yar. Hmm, no good anything else? They're looking for the central laboratory. They're able to find the coordinates for investigation. If it's true, then we got another enemy on top of the, of the zombies and the fanatics. In course of action. Choose, we must observe the media eliminate the client's representative. If possible, that will ensure nobody goes to exit for a while. Nah. I think this would be a much smarter idea. Observe the meeting, eliminate the client's representative, and if possible, that would ensure that no one Actually, for a while, I had, you know, information I've leaked out, but I'm pretty sure, like, you know, being more realistic, like, this would be a much more wise option. That's a good solution, although we won't find find out who else knows about the laboratory. Well, at least we should the mercenaries don't reach it. At the same time, the mercenaries will react fast. They'll be a threat to us. Try to kill both targets if you can. I'll follow Lieutenant Kirlov to go with you. We should choose the other targets. All right, this one's the top priority. All right. Lieutenant Kirillov, Kowalski here. I need you to escort the major. Take the shooter, man. You kill up here, not position. All right, thank you. Major, the mercenaries are in position. Exactly. The mercenaries are in position. Ah.
Rocket launcher. Rocket launcher, rocket launcher. I'm guessing the one by the main entrance is their leader. Boy, I'm such a fuck up, aren't I? First target escaped. Fall back. Ah, fuck it. Operation sh one shot initiated. All right. Ah, that's a bit of a problem. That's my problem. Not patient. The sniper is anything but accurate. So we know, I mean, for sure they're gonna come walk out from over there and everything else and waddle about every around here, right? You know what? If possible, I might keep the shooter. Just for good reason, right? Just for good reasons. Here they are. A group of these ugly motherfuckers. That guy over there in particular will too. I'm tracking him. I'm guessing the one by the main entrance is their leader. And they didn't even realize it. Alright. Better not shoot at me, boy. You better not. You know, his commandant being ripped to shreds, too. What's this guy here doing, huh? Nice power armor. Ah, <sighs> sure it's gonna piss, isn't it? Jackal, huh? Look! There's another group. Let's see which one of them is the messenger. Huh. Ha, <laughs> they're just gonna look the body. <laughs> ah. What a transaction this is. That one over here, one over here. God damn it. I was pretty sure that I <laughs> the one near the entrance is the the leader. Huh? Guns and everything else. Oh, I recalled all those, all right. I'm guessing the one by the main entrance is their leader. He guessed about this one, but no, it wasn't. 
I just just one dude that just that just popped his head out and, <laughs> and even even the other guy just started looting him. All right. I guess it's this guy over here. The one next though. Maybe this guy, I don't know. Let's see, which one of these ones do you think it would be? They had them meeting up about over here. <clears throat> God damn these folks. I wanna kill them all. But I don't know, I mean, maybe that guy over there could be the leader. I mean, they killed the you know, one guy that could have been the leader. Swapped out to someone else with the, with the exoskeleton. Look, there's another group. Let's see which one of them is the messenger. Alright. Quick save, because what the hell not? Because I get down the time and I'm getting out shooting and getting really close. This guy is the main one as well, too, because I see about the power armor. The targets are by the main entrance. I already saw you. First target eliminated. Yeah, I wish you could see what I was doing. Second target eliminated. Analysis. <laughs> Why are you so? I just couldn't stop laughing at the fact, you know, like the one dude just uh, started looting him. Ah, yes! We got one. In the wrong ammo, though. Huh. Strange. Set have been. Ha! <laughs> Thank you, asshole. And here you have the puto as well, too. Pistol. Well, everyone else just has bigger guns. Hey, you know what? Hmm. There I got one. I oh, like the decal in his armor. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty cool. Oh, 
Well, that about to that. Where would our Carl Kowalski go? All right, fair enough. So I guess after all the uh, the targets have been killed and everything, he just had to fuck off back to base, huh? That's good. quite a long, very long to have in it. Oh yes, it has, unfortunately. It ha very well has. Hey, amigo. Hm. I guess it's, uh, he doesn't really care, does he? Fair enough. Well, just refine it and lighten up the load, because why not, right? Of course, why not. A new territory to find my sources. Each with HQ, fair enough. On the flip on the on the plus side, at least he's got, he got himself some new toys and everything. I got the yellow one as well too. So there's that. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I might let, maybe just let myself into something. Recently. And again, I got two rocket launchers, no ammo for each, so there's that. At least it's lighting up the load. What else did I can that I carried along with me that I didn't really need? I got the strong juice, and I really need to lock on me when I got this. I'm gonna carry up to 15 for good reasons. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Alright. Yeah, but at least three out of these ones. Half a half over here just easily happens to it. Uh, I think I might take a sniper, a sniper on me. That's for good reason. Uh, what else am I missing? I don't know. It's a grenade too. The ammo. Grenades. the ones I'm able to snaggle and baggle them over here. Hold on, yeah, I can't trade with this guy. I got no more army men over here to trade with. Let's give him the guy. Stingray to cash, so that's how it is. Alright. No more questions, see ya. <laughs> Bummer, isn't it? Sure, small squad of troops over here, and then they're all gone. I mean, the previous talk games to the military is dicks and everything else, but, hey, at least there are your buddies here until they backstab you. Or so you think, right? Dun, 
Dr. Ghana means there's going to be quite a bit of an issue. Well, quite a few, actually. I'll keep the sniper on me, you know, just for good measures. And, even like you myself, this bad boy will do. Well, you know the the mission squad, and then and then I'll see about uh, going about the uh, last on the area near Jupiter. Good, very very good. They do leave ammo, but they don't leave any. Uh... Oh shit, they're... that's not good. They got the company though too. Right, then bring it on then. Five second timer. Okay. <laughs> Little spotlight though. Base, I found one of your men. It looks like he blew himself up with a grenade. There are no signs of a firefight or any other evidence of him being attacked. Kowalski here. Roger that, Major. Hey, we've got good news. We finally acquired the exact coordinates of the source of interference. The signal is coming from the kindergarten building. Kindergarten. 
creepy? I don't know. I haven't heard anything so far. Why would there anything? Why would that even be something to be aware of? What about? I guess we have to hand this again some of the time. But, this be what it is, and nothing I can do is about it. Especially gonna have to carry some explosives on me for some reason. And then, and then, I have no clue exactly what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna go all out on this one. Controller, controller, I know. In the case. Couple of wait. That's creepy. Guys, you know the, the you like everything is all dark. You look up and see a lion like that. Yeah. Why would I not pepper the lion, right? Why would the hell? Why wouldn't I? I knew it would be you. Come on, let's play, poltergeist. Uh, Here. Yeah, it feels a lot better, doesn't it? Building protection through the uh, psionic effects, which, well, to be quite frank, they're not doing all that much harm to it. I think that a cute little fox, isn't it? Hmm. And some people wonder why people turn furry. <laughs> yeah, another cook that could have gotten, gotten peppered. And the lioness. Or just a femboy lion, you know. That's biology. They're all locked. But why? It's this piece of shit. Right, so what I do now? I just peppered it? Sure, I don't mind. Here. And my regards. And I missed it. Have I I have. Have another one. And another one. How do you end up here? There, I don't remember much. I scared can barely think, and I don't even know what scared me. I had a feeling I could hide, and I saw you ran. I remember the streets turned somewhere. So I came to this hole, and the door was locked on the outside. I thought I was gonna die in here, but... How did you find me? Actually, let's get out of the hell this place. You get the close base. Let's get them in the willies. Have to, at least I have, don't have to babysit me, it's badass. Is that really you? Well, I'll be. We were starting to think we'd never see our doc again. So what happened? Well, it's a long story. I'll tell you another time. Okay. Thanks for your help. By the way, the Colonel wants you to pay him a visit. Thanks. I'll do that. Also, Gary headed for Yanov's station to restock. He asked me to tell you that he won't be back for a few days. Gotcha. Amazing. So, tell me, where were you? You're not going to believe me anyway, but in a fridge. What fridge? Where did you find it? Where did I find it? 
I'd like to see you find anything in my estate. <laughs> I spoke to the HQ commander and reported the situation to him along with all the information that's been collected. There won't be any helicopter support for a while. He suggested that we fortify our position and await further orders. USS observers are currently at the HQ, so you'll be able to talk to your superiors soon enough. Colonel, a radio signal has been detected, and its source is not far from the base. The transmission is encrypted, and I haven't been able to crack it yet. Do you have the coordinates? Yes, I have the coordinates, but the signal is intermittent, and it's moving. Monolith again? I'll check. Part is, I mean, there's only one submachine in the entire game series so far. And that only been an MP5, and that about it. Wait a second. The signal is gone. Yeah, no shit. Cause the guy is just gonna uh, forget tired so gone immediately. You know, I need to drink the strong juice, because why not? It's back! It's right next to you! I don't see anyone. It's close, and it's moving toward our base. It's underground. Major Kowalski here. You better get back here. We need to prepare for possible attack. Bastards won't catch us with our pants down this time. Yeah. As long as you know they keep themselves in a nice fortified condition inside the laundromat, because. Strelok. Strelok. You're the stalker who disabled the Scorcher? Yes. But my plan didn't work. I no. came here to speak with your commanders. I have information that will allow the army to take control of the zone and destroy it. An emission is starting. 
Tom, what's dark inside? We've got a problem. Our choppers are crashing for reasons that we've not understood yet. Until we work it out, there won't be any helicopter support. The only way to get to the borders of the zone is on foot. The reasons are obvious. There are many anomalies in the air, especially in the center of the zone. We had a map with the safe air corridor between anomalies, and the helicopters had emission protection systems. That's odd. You're telling me you haven't noticed that anomalies move around after an emission. Some disappear, and new ones show up in different places, which makes your map of anomalies effectively useless. <laughs> so that's what it is. What? Emissions don't just follow one another. If you can scan the area and identify all the anomalies, the choppers will be able to collect us safely, provided they're dispatched right after an emission. We must inform the HQ of this as soon as possible. I'll contact my commanders right after the emission. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant, get him on the line as soon as you can. Device to cloud your mind. The people behind it are hiding out, out somewhere else. But behind it, I don't know. I would spite that I found out. Oh. What do you wait no see on the end? I'm telling you, it's not gonna call guide. Oh my god, this place feels like a hole. Guide, huh? Interesting. Well, he's a legendary fucking dog, too.
Because of the emission, it's impossible to establish comms during one. Yes. Okay. He's in command from now on. What? You'll have to stay put to be contacted by his superiors shortly. Roger. Well? Major, do you read me? Major Degtaigab here. I read you. I've managed to acquire documents about experiments carried out in the zone. Furthermore, we've been contacted by a stalker who's been in the CNPP. His name is Strelok, and he's offered us his cooperation. Roger. Accept his offer. You know what caused our helicopters to crash? Yes, I have the data, and Strelok's information confirms it. The helicopters were hit by anomalies after their locations changed during the emission. The anomaly map issued to the pilots turned out to be useless. Good. That means we have until the next emission. We'll be collected together with the stalker from position B-28. Stingray squad will be evacuated with you. The birds are already in the air. Over and out. Birds already in the air? Bit of waste of time. You heard the news, fellas. When we go, stick together and keep the stalker alive. Any questions? Uh, Get ready to move. I was gonna say this. Major, can I have a word? Sure. So among you, you and, you and Shrillock have been both in the zone. The difference is that while Shrillock's experience remains here at hearsay, the fact that you're a pro is fair to say. What I'm saying is, I'm counting on you, Major. There's not, there's not many of us left. Continue. Okay, Major, the boys are good to go. Well, I already did, doing your, doing your mission. Hmm. Ah, uh, M209. See ya. Probably passes. <laughs> See ya. Strelov, Kowalski. Shit. Alright, so the uh, so it's ready, I'm good to go. Move out. What's here to do, I mean? Or I mean that Move out, squad! Zombies in the 
Move to the left and cover each other. Got a lot of undead, you know, coming out of everywhere. We're on the way. Our orders are to take off if we come under attack, so hurry the hell up! Roger that. We'll be there soon. Stay alert and follow orders. We're real close to the evacuation point. Let's move! Okay, run! Run now, goddammit! On, Matic, I'm sorry about the honey. Cover your ass, cover your dumb ass. Get a move on! Ah, let's go! Now get left behind. We're taking heavy fire from an unidentified enemy. We cannot hold out for long. Fire it wheel and keep moving toward the choppers.
We're ready to go. Get in that chopper. I hope it's... As a reward for successfully completing his investigation, Diktarov was offered a promotion to Colonel and the position of Mission Coordinator. He declined the opportunity to work at the HQ and submitted a personal request to be sent to the Zone as the USS Permanent Observer. The information about the development of Psy devices obtained by Diktarov alerted USS Commanders. All the information gathered on ex-designated laboratories was removed from military archives and filed as top secret. All personnel working in the zone were ordered to prevent the disclosure of information about the laboratories at any cost. Several experimental samples were made on the basis of technical documents for item 62. Following a set of test trials, it was decided not to go ahead with large-scale deployment of a weapon due to the high cost of ammunition. Nonetheless, it would be reasonable to assume that further development of the Gauss rifle is ongoing. Sultan and his gang left the Skadask to do their shady business elsewhere after their attempts to capture the ship failed. The ensuing feeling of relative safety among stalkers led to a massive increase in the number of artifacts sold to Beard, causing his business to boom, while the formerly quiet Skadovsk bar 
became as popular as the famous 100 Rods Bar, despite being almost in the center of the zone. Unfortunately, it didn't last long. Bloodsuckers from the lair near the Skadovsk found the way to the ship. When bloodsucker attacks began to occur, even in broad daylight, it was decided to mount an assault on the lair. Unfortunately, the hunters failed to advance deep into the tunnels, and soon afterwards, a wave of bloodsuckers annihilated all the ship's residents in one fell swoop. A fragile balance was reached between freedom and duty squads at Yanov Station. Tired of the endless struggle, fighters of both factions started leaving their squads and joining the Free Stalkers. The scientific expedition, organized by Professors Hermann and Ozersky, was a success. The data they collected facilitated the development of groundbreaking medicine and technology which prompted the Ministry of Education to allocate additional funding for researching the zone. Gary's stories about the Army's fate scared stalkers away from Pripyat. The few who dared to venture into the city ran into inexplicable phenomena, which added further dark strokes to an already gloomy picture of the dead city. Organized mercenary squads continue to be active in the zone. Their interest in the secret laboratories is becoming increasingly difficult for USS operatives to ignore. Attempts to establish the identity of the client who hired the mercenaries proved unsuccessful. The area around Yanov Station continues to attract growing numbers of stalkers. The lack of dangerous mutants and abundance of anomalous areas have led to the area being referred to as a treasure trove, with increasing regularity. The rumors of Zulu's fate reached the leader of duty, General Veronin. Counter to most expectations, Veronin decided to posthumously award Zulu with the Silver Shield, duty's highest decoration. Vano headed off to the freedom-controlled military warehouses, but his cheerful personality and optimism quickly earned him the popularity they merited. Ultimately, he took charge of a small group of researchers involved in investigating anomalous areas. The list of casualties suffered in the course of Operation Fairway was amended with yet another name. Senior Lieutenant O.N. Sokolov died in the line of duty. Having overcome his alcoholism, Cardin left the Skadovsk. Stalkers said he went to look for his missing friends. Several days later, he returned, suffering from wounds and radiation poisoning. As soon as his wounds healed, he left the zone for the second and final time. Strelok passed on the information he obtained on his trip to the Chernobyl NPP to the USS commanders. This prompted the government to create a scientific institute for research of the Chernobyl anomalous area. Strelok took up the position of chief scientific consultant to the institute. When Colonel Kowalski, commander of the Stingray Group, returned from the zone, he was forced to explain the reasons for the failure of Operation Fairway. Following a dragged out investigation, and the brass's failed attempt to make him the fall guy, the colonel was finally given an honorable discharge. Слезы среди камней. 
quite the, uh, quite a few, uh, how might I say, huh, some mods for it and everything, right? Some custom stories and everything, which, of course, I do plan on seeing them, but, hey, a lot of people make a lot of memes on those and whatnot, right? And to be honest, I mean, they do seem quite a bit of the, uh, the, the, the adventures well, too. And they got all three games, all three stalker games. I guess some time will tell, right? See about some interesting mods. Got some stories like Amnesia. Except we'll be running away from the monsters and I'll have to have some means of fighting back. But not just that. I've actually been having, been having a look about some of these mods level 2. And you know, I mean they're pretty good level 2. But hey, how in due time, right? Hope you guys enjoyed this one as much as I did, and I look forward for the next one. So I hope to see you guys next time, and until then...